Hey there, hope everything is good and safe. If you use Tecla structures or work in engineering field, I bet you must have heard this term Tecla Open API. If not, don't worry, I've got you covered. Today I want to talk about very interesting topic which is Tecla Open API. So what is Tecla Open API? Is it useful to you? Should you think more about it? Let's see. So first we need to understand what API means here. It is application programming interface developed on the Microsoft.NET framework. Now what do we mean by application programming interface? Application programming interface which is a software intermediary that allow two applications to talk to each other. Each time you use an app like Facebook, send an instant message or check weather on your phone, you are using an API. Now you will understand this better by taking this example. Imagine you are sitting in a restaurant with a menu in hand and kitchen is a part of a system that will prepare your food. What is missing is critical link to communicate your order to the kitchen and deliver your food back to your table. That's where the waiter or API comes in. The waiter is the messenger or API that takes your request or order and tells the kitchen, the system, what to do. Then the waiter delivers the response back to you. In this case, it is food. Okay, so that's clear now. What happens when I say Tecla Open API? Well, similar to our example, in this case Tecla is the kitchen and API is the link to the Tecla system which will do the things which you will define to the messenger. But why it is called Open API, you may ask. So there can be two types of API, one which is Open API and another which is Closed API. In Closed API, only the software company who has developed the application can access internal functions of a program. And in Open API, these functions are made public for developers to use them and create their own application interface program. So you can build your own application.exe, macro.cs, plugins.tll using Tecla library and automate the routine task. Now the question comes, is it useful to you? And can you do it? Yes, it is very much useful to you and you can do it too. There are some prerequisites that you need to have first. One is you should have a Tecla license. Or if you are in an organization that uses Tecla, then this one is checked for you. Next thing is you have to learn C-sharp and knowledge of software itself in order to build your application which will interact with Tecla. Well, that's it. You are good to go. Imagine what is it that you are doing on repetitive manner which can be defined in a set of instructions in a code. This can boost your productivity to the next level. To begin with, I am attaching a link to the Tecla official website where you can begin your Tecla Open API journey. I wish you all the best and good luck. Thanks.